In this lesson, we'll be learning about the cutting conditions. The eight cutting conditions of the FC9000 are like eight cutting presets that can be adjusted to the perfect cut settings for each type of material you may be using. For instance, one condition could be set for cutting high-performance vinyl. A second condition could be configured specifically to cut reflective vinyl, which may need a higher force. A third condition could be configured to cut thicker materials that may need a slower speed and a heavier force. As mentioned, there are eight conditions that can be configured for up to eight different types of materials or types of cutting. Switching between the eight conditions can easily be done by holding the Enter key and pressing one of the keys shown. But we'll get into this in a minute. To demonstrate how easy configuring conditions can be, we'll configure two conditions one for plotting with a pen, and the other for cutting. The steps herein are the same steps to configure all eight conditions. To start, press the condition slash test key. Here we have a menu of settings for configuring a condition. In this case, condition one. This first page displays the option for changing the tool type, the speed, and the force. But those are not the only settings for this condition. If the down arrow key is pressed, we can cycle through all the settings that a condition can contain. When we go back to the first page, you'll notice that if we press the one key, it takes us to this menu. Here we can actually navigate to any condition in order to configure it. In fact, you'll notice that as we cycle through the conditions, they display what their current configuration is for the three commonly used settings of tool type, speed, force, and acceleration. Once a condition is selected, press either the Enter key or the Escape key. In this case, we can press the Escape key to return to condition one. As mentioned, let's now configure this condition for plotting. First, we'll change the tool to Pen by pressing the Two key. Use the down arrow key to set the tool to Pen and press Enter to accept the value. Let's next set the speed by pressing the Three key. We can use the arrow keys to increase the speed and then press enter to accept the value. Let's now change the force of the pen by pressing the 4 key. Use the down arrow key to set to a lower pressure of 12 for the pen and press enter to accept the value. Next we will configure condition number 2 to cut vinyl. We first have to switch to condition 2 by pressing the 1 key, press the up arrow key to condition 2 and press enter. To change the tool, we would press the two key. Normally, we would change our tool type. In this case, it is currently set to the CB09U blade. If you are using a different blade, it might be confusing as to which blade number to use. To do this, simply look at the packaging label and it will show which tool to select. Then in the blade list on the screen, this blade type can be found as we cycle through the tool types. In our case, we are using the standard blade, the CB09U. Press Enter to accept the change. As mentioned earlier, there are other condition settings, but these are discussed in other segments. Once a condition is configured for cutting, it's always a good idea to test the setting to make sure it's correct. At the bottom of the display, it shows that by pressing the left arrow key, we can have it cut a test pattern. Let's do that. This will cut one pattern to test how easily the material can be removed. Try to remove the outside square of the pattern, leaving the triangle. If the pattern is difficult to weed, increase the force. In our case, the pattern weeds out nicely, so we can keep the setting as is. To exit the condition menu, just press the condition slash test key to get back to the default menu. Now that you know how to set up conditions, you may want to configure the conditions to the materials you plan to cut or plot. Also keep in mind that the values used in this demonstration might be different than the values you will use. For instance, your force and speed may be completely different for what we are using here. So make sure to test out the settings for yourself to make sure they are correct for the media you are using. Now that we have two conditions configured, 
one for plotter and one for cutting, we can easily switch between the two depending on if we want to cut or plot. Of course, once all conditions we need are configured, they too can be switched to just as easily.